Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel where I will be crocheting it forward in this video by showing you my new wave stitch pattern. Um, I just uh, made a pillow, that's one side, and there's the other side. And um, just wanted to share it with you. Uh, I just want to first and foremost say I am truly sorry for being away for so long. Um, as some of you know, I lost a couple brothers last year and one of their birthdays was... The beginning of April, which was really hard for me, just brought back a lot of grief. And then my birthday was April 20th. And then not getting a phone call from him took me back. And then I also had a dear friend pass away last week. So I'm so sorry for being away. I will try not to do that. But please always know that if I'm away for an extended period of time, it's for something um, something family re related. Because I do appreciate my subscribers. So, um, I just want to tell you that these are wave sets. I'm going to ref refer to them as wave sets in the video. They are 10 stitches and they go five and then they're repeated backwards. And then in between here, we have the joining rows, which are two single crochet rows. Uh, but the second single crochet row, we use the long half double crochet. And I'm going to apologize in advance because I refer to it a couple times. A handful of times actually as a uh, um, the extended half double crochet and that's not what that stitch is uh, we will be working with the extended triple crochet double crochet which is uh, a, like a substitute for a triple crochet I just find it neater and I really enjoy using it but I will show you how to do that if you're not familiar with that this is a super easy pattern it looks challenging and intimidating but it is not and like I said I just used scrap yarn for this and then I just put a shell border afterward okay so the materials you're gonna need are two crochet hooks um, one a half size bigger for your starting chain I'm using a six for that but the pattern itself is going to be worked into a 5.0 the six is a letter J and the 5.0 is the letter H. You're going to need some scissors and a sewing needle to uh, sew on your ends. So what I've done here is I've chained 36 because this is done in multiples of 12 in my larger hook and that's it. We don't need that hook anymore. So what I'm going to do now is chain one so it's multiples of 12 plus one and then I'm going to turn and I'm going to start making uh, my my base row foundation row in the back loop only in the uh, combining color of your project and what I mean by that is this color right here it's going to be in between now this is just going to be two colors it's not going to be multiple colors like my joining color right here was gray on that side of the pillow and then my joining color was navy on this side so that's what I mean by joining color so go ahead and work a single crochet in the back loop only and again that back loop is just let me start from the beginning for those of you that may not know or haven't worked in the back loop all you're going to do is take the chain and um, put it upside down and in the back you'll see some little bumps so once you single crochet in that first one the chain usually just stays that way and you can see those bumps right there and then that's what you're gonna do and you're just gonna single crochet all the way back to the beginning chain so I will meet you back all right so I'm finishing up my 36 stitch right here in the back loop and we're gonna switch colors here and I've already cut off because I had to rewind so we're just going to yarn over and go through one loop and then we're going to attach our new color. Now if you're going to do this all in one color, you don't have to worry about this. But this is how we're going to change colors. I find it the easiest. You know, if you have your own method, you know, by all means, uh, do it your way. Whatever you're comfortable with. And then again, what I like to do is just tie these so that they're secure and they're not all over the place. Driving me crazy. So now, um, and for every time you we uh, turn our work, we're going to pull up our loop and turn our work and then insert your hook f 
from the outside in and this is going to result in a very very nice and neat edging so we're going to start all our rows with the chain one that does not count as anything and then the first stitch is going to be an extended double crochet for this four row repeat so that just consists of yarning over insert your hook into the stitch pull up your yarn yarn over go through one loop yarn over go through two loops and yarn over go through two loops it's just an alternative to a triple crochet it's just called the extended double crochet I like it a lot so um, in the next stitch you want to make one double crochet the next stitch I don't know why that's loose down there one double crochet next stitch one half double crochet the next stitch a single crochet chain two skip two and then uh, we're, that's this is half of our wave set now we're going to do a full wave set and that's going to be once so we're starting with one single crochet in that third stitch after skipping two one half double crochet one double crochet in the next one double crochet in the next one extended double crochet in the next and that's yarn over insert your yarn into the stitch pull up a loop yarn over go through one loop yarn over go through two loops yarn over go through two loops again yarn over insert your hook into the stitch pull up a loop yarn over go through one loop yarn over go through two loops yarn over go through two loops okay and essentially what with this second one we're just starting this for this these first five stitches um, going backwards so we've done our extended the next stitch is one double crochet the next stitch one double crochet the next stitch one half double crochet and the next stitch a single crochet we're going to chain two skip two next stitch making another wave set single crochet next half double crochet next one double next one double next an extended double crochet and that's just pulling up a loop yarn over go through one yarn over go through two yarn over go through two once again extended pull up our loop yarn over go through one yarn over go through one or two yarn over go through two sorry about that the next stitch a double the next stitch a double next stitch a half double next stitch a single we're going to chain two skip two make a single in the next a half double in the next a double crochet in the next a double crochet in the next and our last stitch is going to be just like what we started with and extend it and make sure that you're turning your work that way if you can't you got to go through both of these loops go through your V you might have to turn it because it might not be immediately visible so again it's pulling up our loop for our extended double crochet yarn over pull through one loop yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two okay so we're done we are going to go in from the side turn our work and let's just review so depending on what you're making and how big you want your project you're going to have a bunch of these wave sets in the middle but your ends are going to be half of a wave set that we start with and that we finish with so this is the first row and basically the bottom of your wave the bottom half now we're going to make the top half of our wave and that is just mimicking or copying every one of these stitches so we're going to chain one always start our rows with chaining one which does not count as a stitch we're going to make an extended double crochet a double a double a half double crochet and a single just like we did in the first row so yarn over insert our hook pull up a loop yarn over go through one 
yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. Okay, a double in the next, a double in the next, a half double in the next, a single in the next, chain two, just like here, and then we're going to go in our single crochet and make a single crochet, and then again copy in that first row, a half double crochet, a double crochet, double crochet, an extended double crochet, yarn over, pull up your loop, yarn over, go through one, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, another extended, pull up our loop, yarn over, go through one, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, a double in the next, a double in the next, a half double in the next, single in the next, chain two, skip two, and then that puts us right at our single crochet and that third and then a half double crochet on top of our half and again just repeating that first row one double in the next one double in the next one extended double in the next and that yarn over go through one loop yarn over go through two yarn over go through two one more time and extend it pull up our loop Yarn over, go through one, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, one double on the next, one double on the next, and then a half double, a single, chain two, skip these two chains, and then we're going to finish up with our last five stitches, which is half of our wave set. So that's a single crochet. Okay, sorry about that. Someone was, I have messenger on my tablet. So again, we'll start this last um, set. So we've chained two, we skipped the two chains, and we're going to make a single crochet, a half double crochet, a double crochet, a double crochet, and then finish up with that extended. And again, we're just turning our work and then going through these two loops, okay? Yarn over, pull up our loop, yarn over, go through one, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through just one because we're changing, okay? Back to our blue. So we are finished with our second row. sure how this happened but you know if you and then the, again this color is the uh, joining color joining your waves together just tying that to secure and then again we are just going to pull up our loop turn our work and then go in from the side okay chain one which doesn't count for anything. And then in this row, we're going to make single crochets all the way across, except when we get to our chain twos, we're going to make extended half double crochets. And I'll, I'll tell you, I'll show you what I'm talking about when I get there. So in that first stitch, we're going to make a single crochet, five, uh, five single crochets, because there's five stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and then we're going to go to one, two, three rows down, always three rows down in these two stitches right here, these two stitches that we skipped right there and right there. We're going to yarn over and, uh, and pull up our loop. And I find it easier if you just, whatever hand that you keep your working yarn in, um, just keep it loose when you're doing these extended double crochets and all that is is pulling up a loop okay see see that loop right there we want it even with the working yarn 
okay? So we do that half double crochet and we're going to do that again. Yarn over, go into that second chain in your third row down, pull up your loop, pull it up so it's um, in line with your working row, and then yarn over. It's going to immediately put you right there at that single crochet. So we should have 10 single crochets in a row because that's how many stitches we have. So it's, we're going to do one single crochet. In the next two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so you always know that those there's going to be ten single crochets in between these extended half double crochets so again two more half double crochets one or one half to extended half double crochet in each of the next two stitches so yarn over go in our one two third row down pull up our loop loosely so it's in alignment with our rows right here and then you pull through that's your half double crochet extended half double crochet Yarn over, do the same thing in the next stitch, in the third row down, pull up our loop, and then pull through. Again, that next stitch, stitch should always be that single crochet in your wave set. So we should have 10 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so here we have two chains. We're going to make two half double crochets in the third row down in the two chains. Yarn over, extended half double crochet, insert our hook, pull up a loop. Yarn over and go through all of them. Just a second you, while I get some more yarn. Apparently I cut the wrong end. Okay, so sorry about that. This is just a swatch, so I'm not worried about the big knot. So, again, going back to these uh, two um, extended half double crochets. We're going to yarn over, go into that third row down. And that chain pull up our loop yarn over and pull through there you can see where I attached my yarn so we're gonna do the same thing in the next stitch okay make sure it's even with the working row yarn over pull through two and then we're only going to finish up with five single crochets for the last five stitches one two three four Okay, we're going to pull up our loop, go in from the side, turn our work, and we're going to chain one. Now this fourth row is super duper easy. It's just one single crochet, crochet all the way across. Okay, so that's one. And I also like to call this the verification row to be sure that you have your 36 stitches or however number you counted um, in that first uh, round. Two three, four, five, six, seven, and again we're just making the single crochets on top of these half double crochets, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 
and 36. Again, I'm going to go sideways there, go through both of my loops there, but I am going to change my color. So I'm going to go ahead and work up a couple rows. If you want, you can rewind the video, um, but I'll come back and I'll show you how to do the border row. So I will meet you back. All right, so I've worked up several rows and I'm just going to uh, sew up my ends and then come back and show you how to how to do a border. But before I do that, I just have to say I'm super duper sorry. I kept referring to this stitched right here in between these two stitches in between the wave sets as an extended half double crochet. And it is not. It is a long half double crochet. So I am super sorry for that confusion I just needed to clear that up so I will sew in my ends and I will meet you back all right so I'm done sewing in my ends and I waited to do my last stitch so I'm gonna make a single crochet in that row this is gonna be a single crochet boarding or edging and then I'm gonna make another single crochet in that same stitch and then we're gonna spread out as best you can three single crochets on the edging for your wave sets and then two single crochets in the single crochet rows. So I'll show you how to do that. And just always try to be sure you're going through two loops. So that's one, two, three, for my wave set and then for my single crochet rows I'm just going to make a single crochet because remember we did two single crochet rows to join and then three single crochets spread out as even as you can there's really no science to this you just kind of get in your own pattern as you get used to it two three and then one single crochet you're joining so we essentially what I'm going to do is go ahead and finish here when I get to my corners I'm gonna make two single crochets I'm gonna come here and this is gonna be easier because it's our, our official row and just make one single crochet get to this corner make two single crochets and then go ahead with the uh, three single crochets two three two all the way till I get up here and then you're gonna cut off because we have to come back and make the bottom look like the top so I will meet you right back all right I stand corrected you do not have to come back and do this other row that I thought you did I think it was because when I did my first side I didn't do the foundation row on top of the chain row so I had to come back and, and do that to make the top look right but we did that we covered that so yeah your top right here you should have two rows at the top and you have two rows at the bottom so that's it that's my wave pattern um thanks for watching um my apologies for any confusion and um please don't forget to share comment and subscribe a thumbs up definitely wouldn't hurt and i just want to share one other thing that i do with these little uh swatches when i try out patterns so sometimes what i do is just take these and use them as little placemats or doilies whatever you want to call them for flowers or something these are my flowers for mother's day that are still hanging in there so again thanks for watching and together let's continue to crochet it forward bye now